everyone! So as always, I'm going to go in with my Melaleuca Face Primer. The reason why priming your face is so important before you put on foundation is because it fills in your fine lines and makes it so that your foundation lasts throughout the day. For foundation, I'm going to use L'Oreal's True Match Foundation in N3 using my Velvet Luxe Flawless Face Foundation Brush from IT Cosmetics in number 311. And I'm buffing this into my face using patting motions starting from my jawline going in. The reason why I'm patting it is to get it really into my pores and this way it's going to allow your foundation to last longer throughout the day. And it also keeps your foundation from moving around when you apply your concealer and powder foundation. After I've applied one layer of foundation over my entire face and jawline and neck, then I'm going to go over my blemishes with a little more additional product just to make sure that I have full coverage. I'm going to conceal and highlight my face using this Maybelline concealer. And what I mean by concealing and highlighting is rather than just putting concealer right under your eye, I'm going to do an upside down triangle starting from the under part of my eye all the way down to my nose. This flatters your face more, it highlights it, and makes it look like you're pretty much glowing from within. I feel that highlighting is 100% completely necessary. You don't have to do it, but I just think it completes any look. And to finish this, I'm just going to apply this on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin, as well as my cupid's bow, and the red spots under my nose. This part of your face tends to show through your foundation throughout the day, and that's why I put concealer right there. Blending this out with a beauty blender, I'm just patting this and making it so that it really blends in with the foundation. This part is really self-explanatory. It really is no technique to doing this, but as you can see, I'm just blending out the concealer. I'm just wiping off any foundation that got on my lips during this process because when foundation stays on your lips for a long period of time, it dries them out fast. So at my T-zone, I'm using ELF's Translucent Powder and my Real Techniques Setting Brush. And if you don't know what a T-zone is, it's pretty much just your forehead, nose, cupid's bow, chin, and under your eyes. And I like to set this part first using translucent powder because this is the part that gets the most oily for me throughout the day. It is different for everyone and if it isn't the same then you can skip this part if you like. Now I'm just setting the rest of my face using a regular powder foundation from Revlon and the same brush I used in the beginning. Before you do this, you're going to want to make sure that all of the foundation is off of the brush before you apply the powder. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm wiping off the foundation in the creases of my laugh lines. The reason why I do this is because I do smile and laugh a lot and it tends to crease in that area so I just wipe it off with a Q-tip. Going in with my contouring kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in an angled fluffy brush, I'm going to use the bottom left color which is the more reddish brown color and I'm using this as a base for my bronzing before I contour. I'm just going to apply this under my cheekbones as well as my forehead and my jawline. When you're applying the bronzer on your forehead, make sure not to get it on your temples because that is where you're going to want to highlight your face. Now going in with my NARS Eater Brush, I'm going to contour my face using the bottom middle color of that contour kit and the color Fawn. Now just imagine there's an imaginary line from the top of your ears going to your mouth and you're going to blend that upward on your cheekbones.
contouring your bottom lip gives the effect that your lips are bigger than they really are basically. Next, I'm contouring my nose using a long pencil brush. And this part I drug out more and I made it more detailed than how I usually do contour my nose. But pretty much I'm just dragging it down the bridge of my nose and I'm stopping it where the ball of my nose starts to form. So I'm making this part super, super skinny and then I'm going to drag the top part up to match with the front part of my eyebrow. Next, so where the ball of my nose has to form, I'm going to drag that contour down the sides of my nose. Now I'm bringing that contour all the way down to the front tip of my nose. Next, I'm going to do more shading and I'm just going to blend that out, dragging it downwards. This part is optional, but since I'm not going to apply eyeshadow because this is my foundation routine, I'm going to use the bottom left color of the contour kit, the more reddish brown, and I'm blending that into the crease of my eyelids. Using the top left shimmery highlight of the contour kit, I'm going to highlight under my brow bone as well as my eyelids. For blush, I'm going in with Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso in a stippling brush. And I'm applying this right above my contour as well as the bottom parts of the apples of my cheeks. To highlight my face, I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Bomb in that same setting brush and I'm applying this on the tops of my cheekbones, the tops of the apples of my cheeks, as well as my temples. And I'm going to drag that under my brow bones as well as the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the middle of my chin. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I hope you all enjoyed this and thank you all so much.